I'm from Southern California. She's from Maryland. We moved here in 1989 on a literature search because we thought it looked like a great place to be. We've never been here before. Loaded up our stuff, sold everything in San Diego, moved here to San and we've been here ever since. We love it. Wow. When we got here, we couldn't believe that everybody who lived here on a very modest income had a house in town and they had a camp at the lake. It was like, you guys are in paradise, but they wanted more. They were willing to sell out for anything to get a job, not realizing that what they could get with the job is what they already had. So, we had been through the fire with development and conservation and endangered species and everything. Jane and I are both biologists. We have our consulting company. We do endangered species management consulting in the southwest. We still do that. But we live here in Calumet Township. We spend the summers in Alloway Township. We go south to the winter to Calumet Township. <laughs> Five months. That's why um, he's registered in County. So I'm a Keweenaw County voter. She's a Houghton County voter. Um, <laughs> so when we got up here, Lake Superior Land Company owned everything. And right about that time, it was the time of the hostile takeovers of these stable companies that had riches in retirement and, and no debt. And so they got taken over, ironically, by a company from Southern California that had already bought and developed Cabo San Lucas, much to our heart's regret. Um, but anyway, the whole thing was starting to fall apart. So we thought, what can we do? We need to start an organization. Or no, our first thought was, let's talk to the Nature Conservancy, let's talk to Michigan Nature Society, let's talk to these conservation organizations that already exist here, and, and say, look, you can buy, you guys remember, late 80s, you can buy property for $7,500 an acre. And so we thought, God, why don't we just buy like entire watersheds? Because it seemed like not that much money. No one was interested. No, Nature Conservancy not interested. Conservation fund. Conservation fund. I went to Washington D.C. I tried to get it. I tried to get the conservation fund to buy Lake Superior Land Company at the time. It was only eight million dollars to buy all three hundred thousand acres in the Keweenaw and two hundred thousand acres in Wisconsin. They didn't Could, fly over. They got close couldn't to get anyone fly. to actually pull the trigger. So we're like, gosh, well, and and at the time, conservation was really interested in what we call postage stamp. Areas. Endangered flower lives on these three acres, let's buy those three acres. It's great, except if the mall goes around all the other thousand acres around it and there's the three acres and then flowers die anyway. So, with our biology background, we wanted to do what is called landscape level conservation. And our original idea was we named our, we, we founded a group, we just started, Jane and I did, called the Northwoods Conservancy. It's like, okay, northern lower peninsula, part of Ontario, all of the UP, a little bit of. And then gradually we shrunk down until we focused on Alabama Township. <laughs> because you realize that everything is really local. There's only so much you can do. Um, so we started this organization, and our idea was, and still is, is to buy the places that people in the Keweenaw have been going to forever because it was quasi People thought it was public land, but it was owned by Lake Superior Land Company. And little by little, every one of those places was lotted up. And now there's a house on it, and there's no trespassing sign. 